again. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Why is there a dude up here? The Inner Sphere, with Megoplex lot serving the Lyran Commonwealth and an out of the way planet in the periphery, uh, where my heart is. So, on this two. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Grimos. We are back with more Hoi 4 with Stuka and my good friend Newt. The ad ended right in time for me to see the Irby Waffle House. Hey. I was watching the stream and the ad played as per usual. And then right as it ended, I saw an Irby looming over a, or a mech looming over a Waffle House. Huh? Exactly as, uh, as Mad Ducks would have it. Good morning, Elizabeth with Daft Ideas. Just give me a moment, folks. There we go. That should be better for everybody. Now, Newt can hear me along with you people, which it might yeah. be. It might. It might be important. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. So we're gonna go back to. Oh no. Our former game. Is from an older, older save. Are you serious? Uh, I, look, man. We can st we can start a new one. Uh, yeah. If you, really, if you want to. Well, what do you mean? If I want to, we have no choice. Yeah. Uh, so let's That's try some. That's sad, isn't it? That's it's whatever, man. Let's try something new. We could be site Y and play short game, short game. We could. <laughs> What are they? Are they like Ethiopia has capitulated? <laughs> no, like they are the first thing to get declared on. Deadline declares on them. They have three divisions. Oh, you aren't familiar with the concept of Ethiopia has capitulated? No. Uh, in Hearts of Iron, uh, base game uh, at the start of the game, as in real life, it uh, Italy is invading Ethiopia, and usually yeah. the first message that you get that pops up is Ethiopia has capitulated because how are they supposed to stand up against uh, Italy? Well, I mean, it's only Italy. Uh, it's Ethio. It's only Ethiopia. Yeah, but come on, man. There's got to be a way to make Ethiopia work. Uh, oh yeah, a few of the legionnaires have made e have uh, managed to stave off Italy. <laughs> Sweet. I've, I was reminded the other day that there's an achievement in the game called Australia Hungary, where if you're Austri where you're Australia and you take over Hungary. So instead of Austria Hungary, it's Australia Hungary. Oh, Australia you know, is going to be hungry, all right. You know Australia, that place that Arnold Schwarzenegger's. What? Yeah. Where's another shrimp on the Bobby now? Wow, give me a fosters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the hidden boss wants a wants a cult. Uh, we can't do Minutemen. Minutemen. Church of the Silo. Minutemen are sweet. Way way fuck over here. Uh, I think hey. there's mods for that, but no. We wait. Eventually, eventually they'll get over there and they'll they'll do it right. Uh, uh what what's the uh silo the church of the silo? Church of the silo? Why? Yeah. They're your friendly church of Adam. Do they have a missile silo there? What the fuck to find, know, Bubba. Want to find out? Hang on. The deluge of fire. Old world nuclear worshiping group based in North Dakota's group. Worship radiation based in a nuclear missile silo still containing many nuclear missiles. Uh, there you go. Uh, I looked it up for you. They it's, they, they still have nukes. Uh. Sweet. Hang on. They're saying that you're a little bit quiet, Newt, so I'm just going to pump your jams. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. 
So, how's that, Von Falkenstein? Can you hear the new better? That Von Falkenstein. Oh yeah, there's vaults. There's vaults like crazy. There's... Yeah, but what is a nuclear silo but a non-vault tech vault? Uh... Am I right? Uh... Some some vaults were were nuke silos too. Yeah, yeah but... but you get what I'm saying. Uh... One hundred and thirty-seven. It's an incredibly secure position to be in. There. Oh yeah. Besides, we're we're all like rad mutants for for the glory of Adam. Okay, now now first things first. Do we have a tree? <laughs> sure don't. We have a basic bitch tree. Oh uh, man. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, dude. Dude, then why why bother? Hmm. That sucks. Oh, well, it's whatever. I thought you'd have nukes. Well, we very well could get nukes. There's other stuff I Oh think. damn, that is one big spider. Eh, don't go where I can't see you, please. No. Meanwhile, Newt is being attacked by giant spiders. Do you, uh, do you want to, before you get too comfy, pick one with an actual focus, maybe? Maybe use that. Well, you can use this as an opportunity to uh, scout the other factions, so. Yeah, that's and true. And then maybe pick one. Because isn't it a little boring to do one without uh It can be. It really depends. Like I... Well, they really hyped it. That why would they bother mentioning that we have active nukes if there's no tree to use them? Uh, maybe to hype up when they do. Uh... Well, no, there very well could be stuff that gives you nukes, right? Right? No, this looks all like super generic. They haven't done anything special with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so. Look. So let's let's do a little bit of. A quick, a quick scout. Let's see what Vault 37 has for a tree. They have a generic vault tree. That's whatever. Which is slightly better than generic nothing tree. Roach King? What the hell is that? Roach Kings are... Old Beli are they old believers Norse? Uh... I don't believe so. Oh, they're, um... They're Orthodox basic. Orthodox Christian. They're basic, too. Yeah. Roach King is... I guess the further inland Different. you get, the less likely you are, because part of their implementation is just making them exist, and then you have to add the trees. Hmm. Uh, how about the Métis? Métis Congress? Yeah, I know. I know the Métis have a. They've got a tree. They've actually got a fairly, big tree. They got a fairly large one. Should we be the Métis? What that would be. What does everybody think? I could be Métis. Yeah, right. Iron Confederacy is right too, I guess. What else we got? Uh, the vault, ha uh, vault one thirty seven has a sp generic vault tree, which is different than the generic regular tree, but it's still uh, kind of generic. Uh, vault City has its own tree, but we're kind of saving that for when we can do a multiplayer game. Yeah. Because you can make Vault City run by a super intelligent mole rat, and then you can make uh, New Reno run by a m mutant ghoul of some type. Uh, I don't know what what is Thrad. Hang on. Uh, Thrad is a super mutant. Yeah, he's fan and not canon. Uh, I just yeah. looked that up. Uh, yeah. Isn't he red though? Uh, he is. I feel like he's red. He got red skin. Hey. Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I, okay, good. The spiders go in. The uh, spiders going in the kitchen. Uh, good man. Uh, well, no, if, no conflict necessary whatsoever. If we're gonna be Brotherhood of the Steel over here, that's site Y, and that's that's just a bad idea. Or we okay. could be uh, Montana chapter for boss. There's all kinds of boss. Yeah. There's all kinds of boss hidden on this map somewhere. Rat hazards have anything? One in nineteen more. That's not too terrible, but that's a generic tree, I think. I know it does that. I should probably turn that music off. To be fair. As, 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 as though I do love that song. I know. 
What about a gang area? Start a crime wave? Yeah, I mean, like, I kind of don't really want to do, like, power armor or, like, like really, really hardcore stuff. Let's, let's be... I don't know. I have I left mine to see what we can do with Church of Silo. Okay, but on the other hand, it's super satisfying when you start without them and you steal it from somebody else. So make sure you use... If you manage to steal super power armor, make sure you use it because it's just funny to have people who shouldn't have it having it. Yeah. Speaking of people who shouldn't have it... Is that a... Is that a repeater? A, is what a repeater? The basic weaponry, yeah. Uh, or it's a, no, that's an over-under double barrel, isn't it? Uh, uh, I don't think so. It says it's a bolt-action 5.56, five, but whether or not it actually is, we'd probably have to produce it to see its actual name, I guess? Yeah, because this thing doesn't say what it is, even though it's fairly evident. Elmo got an AK-47. Oh, shit, dude. Those are the, uh, the rad rifles. Yeah, are there any gangs you can, uh, play as? Uh, yeah, there's... In this neck of the woods? In this neck of the woods? Um... Uh, yeah, Hidden Boss is asking for a gang. The Dramate is a gang, but they're generic. The problem with, with uh, with gangs is they're, they're fairly, some of them are generic down here, like, but up here, it's mostly, like, religions. The Damned, I think, is a gang. Uh, what's the Republic next to, uh, Manitoba? Uh, the Republic of, th of Three Rivers. Yeah, what's that? That's a big tree. That's a big, Ooh. that's a big, big tree. Wanna play them? Uh, sure. Uh, maybe take a look at who they, or what, sort of, what type of people they are. They're, uh... Canadians. It's up to you if you want. It's up to you if you want to make the generic <laughs> work, but it seems like it's. But it would be more fun to play a uh, fleshed-out tree. So, like, honestly, the only like real gang like culty shenanigans stuff that we had up here were the Stu Dandies, really. Which he did. Uh... Yeah, and this and Dundurn is kind of like that. And Pleasantdale could be, but they always go robot. Um, we could be the tall Mountie. Oh, do they have a tree? No. Ah. But they are bad raiders, though. I mean, what does the audience want? Does he want him to have a generic tree, or does he want him to switch to one with a tree? Well, and if so, it. the, um, those ones on the water looked like a good position, because you have an entire side of your, uh, nation that you don't even have to protect, uh, yeah, as as yeah, having your back to the wall is actually really nice. Yeah. So the Republic or uh, the Arborg Junta. Uh... If you're okay switching, I'm not. I feel like I'm being pushy on the matter. That's, oh, that's one tall mounty. Is a very tall mounty. So the Arborg Junta has its own too, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, All right, we're gonna go back. To, we're gonna go back to main menu. We're gonna pick a different faction, one with an actual tree. All right. Um, let's try Three Rivers. Let's see if it's any good. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Uh, feel free to start. Obviously, without me though, I don't want to hold you up. Yeah. And now we're we're trying. You are to... a hero. But you have to leave. Yes. Oh, you think so, Jacoran, eh? Well, allow me to show you a bloody mess. Hey, and it didn't crash. Feels good, man. Kick open the Canadian prairies. I want to do Metal Mark, though. I'm feeling it.
Because Metal Mark is the only, like, remaining company that's actually still running. That's a company company. We don't want to be super communists unless we do big grass. But I'm not feeling robots this time. We'll do robots maybe another time. Let's pick the Republic of Three Rivers. Let's see what their story is. Why Tom take over? That would certainly be big business. Alright, what the fuck are we dealing with here? Protect the weak, defend your rights. The crown rises. Three Rivers is the table of a people who knew to say thus far and no farther. A, a people who rose up against a king who would be a tyrant. Cool. And who's Eloi Steele? Any good revolution needs heroes. And for those who lay, who would lay the foundation of the Three Rivers Republic, that hero was Eloi Steele. And though the revolution did not manage to topple the crown entirely, the birth of the Republic was assured nonetheless. Eloi Steele fought, led, and bled on the front lines to see that birth through. And when the time came to choose a leader, the people chose her to be their president. Fiery, bold, and unafraid to roll up her sleeves, the new president has her work cut out for her. There are many, both within and without the government, who would rather she was out of the picture for her own, for their own gain, and the newborn republic faces its share of growing pains. She'll have to navigate the battlefields of politics wisely, while also preparing for the inevitable, the inevitable return of the crown. That's a pet. Mm. Someone's redeemed a pet, huh? Pet the NCR. Alright. Pet. Pet. Oh, pet, a good pet, boy. Pet. Pet. That's a good hub. That's a good hub. Oh, we're gonna have to go a long way to pet the NCR with bullets. Grimo says, Oh, Canada. Oh, you. Alright, let's get the most important shit gun. The agriculture. All the basic shit you always grab no matter who you are. Yep, no matter what. Okay, civilian factories? Can we build anything? What we got? What we looking at? What we looking at? We've got... Never building there, never building there, never building there, never building there. Unless that's capital. Uh, I don't think so. Where in Sweet Fuck's my capital? The north end? Okay. Let's... I don't want seven. You're in Winnipeg. Yeah. Winnipegian. That'll do. <laughs> I do really like that song. Okay, we're building scout. Well, I don't know, but I've been told uranium ore is worth more than gold. I sold my cab and got me a Jeep. I got that bug and I can't sleep. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Uranium fever, it's spreading all around. We're With a Geiger finest. counter in my hand, I'm gonna get me some government land. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Oh, yes. Beware the leaf. Fear the time of the rake. Hey. Alright. Let's get all our men together. Uh. Under one woof. Canada shall endure. Yes, it shall. Who are we going to have to fight first? I know we have to f we fight Manitoba and Genta. I think we're going to go hard against Genta. We might even declare early. 
biker regiments only. Yeah, I don't know if you know the state of organized crime in Canada, but yeah. I mean, it's not that bad out this way, but it's uh. Ah, uh, you're get you're pro approaching it when you're we're, heading we're back getting our there. way. We're getting there. Although BC was pretty bad for it too, as as well. Um, There's gonna be a Hell's Angels faction in, in this game, isn't there? I don't see why not. They should. Uh. It's either that or the Banditos. Lord knows they're not gonna give us the rock machine. It's it's oh my god! You know what faction they need to add? Towing company. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, It'll, they'll be. You, the, you remember the, that, right? They'll be the four hundred ones. Anyway, uh, huge problem with organized crime and towing uh, companies. Fucking yeah, it's bad. I used to work highway maintenance. I know. I I, I have an idea. I think they said they're looking for writers. I should maybe get in there, huh? Ooh wee. Get a couple canoes going. Uh, we need to protect our rivers. Um, that's everything that it wants. Is there anything special in the... Ooh, activate the territorial defense fires. We have Fort Gary. And we need to form the, pe the peasant militia to do that. Anything else cool? No. 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 We'll... St We'll think about it later. No. All right. We'll kick up to full speed and just send it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sir. Who we got? Give her a quick pause. Pull that to the side. Turn that off. Pull that to the side. Let's pick you. Yeah. The crown rises. Long ago, when the bombs fell and the world was reborn, control of Canada was seized by the Canadian People's Front, a communist guerrilla force dedicated to fighting the Americans since before the Great War. Their rule was harsh, living, leaving deep scars on the people of Winnipeg as their rights were pushed aside as the CPF focused on the reclamation of Canada. But when the CPF fell apart, and its eastern lands fell to the warlords, the people cried out for a savior. Out of the chaos came King Gun I. Though either shrewd, through either shrewd diplomacy or terror-inspiring uh, threats, he brought all of Winnipeg, Manitoba, and more into his fold, and so began the long and storied reign of the kingdom of Manitoba. For a while, things were peaceful. Gun served the kingdom well until his ab abdication, passing his reigns to capable individuals. Thus the beginning of the reign of King Brandon I, who continued to rule as King Gun I did. But as time moved forward, the kingdom fell into decadence, greed, and things turned dire. Our industry was mighty. We get assault airships? Ooh, Why are you getting these things instead? Oh. Oh. oh, okay, this is probably backstory that led to us splitting into our own group. Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, so this is just this is from our past when we were still part of the kingdom, I would imagine. That's why we're getting kingdom events. I was confused. To... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the the discipline defense force for the army experience and the command power. But even though those assault ships are sweet, yeah. they they oh my god! But to crew them are hundreds of men. So, <laughs> we don't have that. As much as I would love to pick it, we'll, uh, we might dick around with that another day. But now we have a little bit of EXP and command power, so we can actually Sir. promote, promote. Where in a say? Recon's pretty good. More gloss and moving's kind of neat. We've lost all that. We could. Now these are for all spec forces, including the regular ones. 
not just PA. And we are using special forces. So let's go for it. We're special. Okay. I don't know who this unit commander is, but I like her. She looks like um Who's the who who's the pretty lady they mangled the ten dollar bill with? Uh, uh, Viol uh What? <laughs> Unless Viola you're... Uh your commander at the bottom, bottom of the screen. Hey. She reminds me of Viola Desmond. Okay, I don't know who that is. She's the lady on the fucked up ten dollar sideways ten dollar bill. I don't know. Okay. You. When's the last time you looked at a ten dollar bill? Not very intently. How have? I can't help you if you haven't noticed the uh, ten dollar bill yet. Okay. Uh, the right to be wrong. The formation of the Republic of Three Rivers came forth when a collection of disillusioned members of Winnipeg united and declared independence from the monarchy. Thus forward, no more would they be ruled by a king. Their reasons were numerous. For some, it was the crown's favoring of the elites of Manitoba who feasted on lavish meals and left us to foot the bill. For others, it was the conscription of our troops to fight with the Métis Congress. What business of oh, that war was ours? Manitoba believed they could take our loyalty for granted. But in our hearts, we remember who we always were, a people who cared deeply about their rights. Discontent grew, turning into resistance, and from resistance came a war. The, a string of victories, one after the other, with what small started as a small revolution, a rebellion, had evolved into something greater. Power-ups come from the people, and no one can take from us anymore. Uh, ba stability's hard to come by sometimes, isn't it? Eh, not really. Yeah. War we, ha support? we have 10 war support. We should probably get it to 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus, you want to fuck up the Yuntas. So. Yeah, and it'll help me with an early declare. Which, we'll see how that works out. Above what shine the northern light, the maple leaf forever. How much does it cost to declare on them? 64, 320 days. Yikes. We'll be at war with them before that even elapses. The revolution falters. Though the Republic plunged the sword deep into Manitoba, managing to kill even the current king, it could never finish the job. Complications arose as the forces of the Métis people were crushed by Langdenburg's Sword of the North, leaving the Three Rivers as the Coalition's sole fighting force. Not wishing to push its luck, the Republic settled for an uneasy peace, using its proximity to the kingdom's capital as leverage. Both sides knew war would come again, until then peace would reign. Seven years ago, a mercenary hired by the Crown attempted to start a rebellion within Three Rivers to bring them back into Manitoba's fold. The rebellion failed, soundly crushed by a soldier, Eloi Steele. Already a popular figure due to her heroic bravery during the War of the Republic Coalition, her popularity soared after stopping O'Brien and his gang. Recently being elevated to the position of president, she has already planned out the many changes that she wishes to implement, including vanquishing the crown once and for all. It won't be easy for her. Both the king and O'Brien plot their revenge against Three Rivers, whose internal politics grow increasingly dire. As the common monarchist enemy falters, time will tell if the Republic can weather the coming storm. Whatever it takes. And then we get that free war support anyway. Free war support. Yeah. Shit. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty. We like our war. But what's the justify now? Less and less. For three oh five days. But let's see if we have any war goals. Yeah. So we can we can rush to pick on the Genta. And these are only 30 days? That's not bad. So. Oh, no. Oh, well, Navy. Is that, that's not really useful, is it? What? In, the, in your position. Uh, what? The first thing down that track to get the war goal. The river trade. Uh, it's, all, uh, it's a lot of naval stuff. Yeah, that's fine, though. That don't matter. Right. 
arms workshops in the way, though. That's... Oh, my God. I have no problems. That's all... I have... Yeah, that's a lot of arms workshops. So. I... Oh, and outposts? Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna march right right directly down that. We're not gonna pass go. We're not gonna collect two hundred dollars. We're gonna get the river trade. Gifted to us by the earth are the three streams that divide our lands. We would be fools to not invest in trade along these rivers. Which is true. Now, do I have? Yes, I do have an economic node. We start at level 6, which is pretty solid. I should trade with anybody. How many? Oh no, say why? Oh no. Where are they? They're right down here. Hmm. Won't be long. Now we have a fuckload of those. As yeah, let's just pound out a metric fuck ton of canoes. Let's do the twin lakes. Our twin lakes have always been the driving force of our small and restricted economy. Perhaps we can rouse public support for investing further into their ports. Yes, we will. As we watch, poor sight. Why? Get raw dogged. Ethiopia has capitulated. Oh, Ethiopia is about to capitulate. Oh, you figured out grain. Yeah, we figured out. You, fi you figured out if you grow all the plants in a row, it's way easier to manage them. Yay. If we were going to do biker regiments only, we'd have to do, like, the 80s or something. And it'd be, it'd be all bicycle -low. Choose you. <whistles> Securing Stonewall. The feudalistic nation of Manitoba that is separated by a single strip of land is gearing up for conflict with our free republic. The only way we can hold against such a massive force is by securing chokeholds and outposts. Which we're going to do. But first, we need to figure out reference manuals. Um, let's make... Convoy. Okay. Say it way, dead. Not yet. I'm getting there. Reclamation depots getting theirs. Do I need both? I need both. So I need both of these these side trees to get this. It shan't take long. <laughs> Passive caps income get fucked. That sucks. Things move fast. Yep, we gotta power them out. We figured out how to read the fucking manual. Hell yeah, it's important. Garrison and Gary? But why? Fort Gary is an abandoned monument in the old world's military. Having switched hands multiple times in the course of centuries, it still stood, stood proud enough to have some remaining ruins to this day. It could stand as our only bulwark against the Kingdom of Manitoba. Nice! Uh, Hell yeah. Will that, will, that, will that make it harder for them to crack the border? Yeah, sure. The outposts? Uh... Oh yeah. Absolutely. There we go. Man, the mutants are eating each other. Like we do. I can't wait to show you my love by sending you hundreds of thousands of mole rats. <laughs> I'm a good friend. 
Hell yeah. That's a bit long for resistor, but we'll get it started anyway. Oh no, deadline. Standing rock? Oh, they're still... They're still alive. Holy shit. Well, that's a big old mess down there. As the world slowly lights on fire. We have 4% of a Todd Howard. We have our hidden smarmeries. Is that more weapon factories? Or? Fucking A it is. After repairing the ruins of Fort Gary, we found a most unexpected surprise. A full-on arms workshop capable of supplying two full divisions. How it got there and who built it remains unknown, but we know we can certainly fit refurbish its vast machinery. And the democracy requires strength. Fort Gary has a lovable name and an unforgettable infrastructure. It now is a symbol of hope to our citizens. Getting a bill signed to construct further armament workshops in the fort's bowels will be an easy task. Powering out guns. What's our money looking like? Our money's looking pretty good. We should give her a pause and see what we can buy. Uh, hey, what, what? everybody, did the news get around about a guy named Butcher Pete? What? I'm just checking out our tech level. We are sophisticated in everything but PA, which isn't bad, considering. We can steal it. We could steal it. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! Kratos makes a good point. The tow truck faction is probably too fresh. Huh? <laughs> I mentioned it in the BPL channel. Or the BP, or, you know what I mean. Yeah. Discord. 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 The day of infamy. Oh, yes. Lest we forget. Never. Nubleon pa. Never again. T take a little bit of a suckle off of Bruce Lee's favorite drink. Get some multi purpose equipment. And yeah. We'll be we'll be kicking off with Genty in just a moment. Just a just a fucking moment. Yep, it's there. So the Arbor Genta hold rightful three rivers territory, governs over the people like an iron fist. It's time the rebellion spreads further north and removes the thinly veiled tyrants from power. Let's get them. Oh yeah. Let's get them, boys. Oh yeah. What else can we build? We can build bikes. Caravan equipment? Or... Um, oh, bicycle! Yeah. You buy bicycle. Let's get some. Just bikes. the one because then you can. Um, we'll we'll pound out your salvaging. Tons of bikes after with that. It'll be fine. Yeah, but you can also do your salvaging. Yeah, and we can get Zerag's bike regiments. Uh, can you build basic power armor frames? No, we can't. We don't get power armor. Uh, you can't research it at all? No. It's not in our Alright, uh, when you have the time to spare, make sure you get your spies up, because you can, uh, find the nearest branch of the Brotherhood of Steel and start robbing, uh... I'm really not super worried about it. Spying on them. Yeah, but the, uh, benefit for, uh, sal salvaging is the only thing. Indeed. Still, salvaging is delightful. It is stuck at Newton. Hello, yeah. Emerald Herald. Good morning. Welcome to the Super Happy Fun Zone. Yay. Work is needed. Um, 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 uh, that's a bit. That's a bit ahead. Let's. We could probably do. Let's do conventional. Get started. 
It's a bit early. Because holy shit, our political power sucks. Yeah, that's part of why I suggest. Also, is your stability at 5%? It is, in fact, at 5%. It was at 50 You see, you, you get what I was... You see... You see why I was pushing for stability. That's part of why you're not getting much political power, too. Yep. That's whatever. It's fine. Things will there's, stabilize. Yeah, there's a lot of negatives on our on our tree. Uh, uh, so you need to start removing negatives with the tree, basically. Yeah. We need to continue moving down. Uh, you got the Junta, though, so you should uh, look for one that removes uh, one of the... Maybe check which is your worst one, and then uh, type to search to see what removes it. Um, it's whatever. We'll move down the tree and find it. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It's fine. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Yeah. We'll never know if my prophecy was true, though. That's okay. We're, we're well past that. There's not much we can do about that now. I know. Weekly stability... Weekly stability? Plus one. Oh, shit! 300 days. That wouldn't be bad. Um, Political power gain plus 10% too. Resource gain efficiency minus 15. Why? But, uh... uh recruit oh, the pop factor is good, though. And, and see how bad backwards peasants is right now. Well, it's bad. Ooh, uh, ooh it's bad. Weekly stability minus two. You need to get rid of that now. Yes, sir. Get, uh, get that one. Yeah. Well, peasants. Yeah. Negotiate with the peasants. Give them some stuff. Let them have cake. Wait, that didn't work out. You know, that's probably a myth. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty the sure it, they she didn't actually give them cake. No, what? It's somebody else I, said it too, right? Who was it? Was it Marie Antoinette? Uh, That's who they, like, it's supposed to have said it, but somebody else to, said uh, it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, what I heard is that she was an extremely outspoken advocate for the poor amongst the royal family, and to the point where it would be the idea that she wouldn't know that both cake and bread require flour is ridiculous, uh, and she wouldn't flippantly disrespect the poor like that. I hope not. Because what, what the... Uh. The total misattributed uh, story is that they said they don't have flour for bread. And she said, why don't they eat cake then? Uh. But that makes no sense because she would know that you need flour to make cake. You'd hope so anyway. So yeah, they think one of her, one of the royal detra detractors attached to the uh, attached that to her. Oh my God, Arborg! Why? Why do you last so long in other games? You're getting your shit pushed in, Arborg. Sir. Cut off for years. For years. She also advocated for them to be allowed to eat the white bread that was made for the nobility, which is known as pan, which roughly translates translates to cakes, which was against a law passed by a previous king. What I've found is even when the even when all these royal families are a little crappy, there's always like one good egg in there. Huh? There always seems to be one standout amongst them. I think the exact quote was uh, let them eat brioche or something like that. Which is a more decadent form of bread with a lot of butter and some eggs and stuff in it. Oh. 
Oh yeah. It's all coming up, Melhouse. Hey, okay, Rapoos. Wonder why they're not trying to kill them, as they very well should. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? Go that away. I don't like them very much. Let's kill them. I think pan just means uh, bread in French. No, that's pain. It's pain. It, yeah, pain. It's pain. Pain is bread in French. Pain. Food-based politics is one of my favorite genres of real-life absurdity. Like how Italy has a food crimes division, and it has the bust and olive oil fraud ring. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, there's a shitload of. Uh, Dude, Italy has a food oil coming out of Italy. They have a food crimes division. What if they? So do we, I think. Oh god. Oh god. They could find out about Italian soda pop and shut us down. Then what will we do? The junta is mine. Yes. Lot of uh, maple syrup theft. Well, yeah, that's understandable. This shit's like gold. All right, what are my other war goals? How far? How quick can we march them down? Do 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 do. Oh, you're about to finish negotiating with the untouchables. Huh? The old believers. Ooh, religious tolerance. Two different ways to get claims on the old believers. Claims on the Kingdom of Manitoba. This is... Claims on the North. Claims on the Great Stampede. Old believers. Man! No matter what happens, we always go after the old believers, I guess. That's not nice. That's something. Um. Excuse me? 3.5 million seems low. Hang on, let me find. Why is there a picture of a cat? Can we get a cat? Uh, can we get a cat to run this country? On the wings of freedom, uh, the biggest maple syrup heist, uh, the Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist in Canada was twenty-one million dollars worth of maple syrup stolen. Uh, so three point five million dollars is impressive, but it's not even close to. Uh, to reaching the most maple syrup stolen in Canada. Hmm. Peaceful integration. It's either three cores or one. Uh, which one's more valuable, though? Airborg is certainly more valuable. It's their capital. Do you think it's more valuable than all three of them? Or? Let's have a look. Because there's... Oh, make sure you're managing your trade, eh? I, don't, I didn't notice if you had been... No. If you even have a trade node. I do. And it's maxed at 6 right now. Alright. Harburg is not a trade hub. What's my resources? No, I don't want to scroll. Supply map? Come in. Resource map. Gimli, Stonewall, North End, Fisher Bay, Ashen, and St. Laurent. Hmm. At, uh, at the time, they stole 3% uh, of the... Uh of the world's production of maple syrup per year in one heist. Good lord. Yep. 
Uh, we produce about a hundred thousand tons, and they stole three tons. Yeah, we're gonna secure our northern flank, which is so like Arburg Junta is uh, four provinces total, um, yeah. and we're gonna core three of the four, and then right. and then uh, we'll just because it'll be ch and then you'll just pay to core the last. one. Yeah, because the less we have to core manually, the better. So we'll pick yeah. we'll pick that one. Our our next one's done. Actually, I'll be right back. Yep, go ahead. Also, that is one wide. Look, look in the next tree. That is a wide focus. What? Uh, right next to, right to the right. Zoom back in. Exactly to the right. Oh no, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The bridge wide is wide. Wide focus. Wide town bridge. Wide, and it's a good one. Yeah. Civilian right. workshops is vital. Vital. Now we can feed the people and solve the energy crisis and beer rations. We need beer rations. That's that's extremely important. Well, you need to relax brewing laws too. Well, yeah, it's, but, yeah, and that's where our political power is going to come from. Oh, we're gonna give. We're gonna have responsible landowners eventually. That's exciting. Um, let's put our army. As soon as we figured out what we're doing. Um. Because we're going to have to fight Manitoba. We're going to. But we might. I don't get a specific war on the damned. But they might try to raid us. Master Mayhem says he has a weird desire to own one. Only one. It's only one. 55-gallon drum from the Canadian Maple Reserve. Just a conversation piece. Make a table out of it or something. Make a tapped table. Yeah. That sounds alright. Sounds like it could be fun. What's the declare like on the damned? And we're a ways away from our war with the Manitoba. Technically, our war with the Old Believers could get pretty close, but we're, like, a year or so away from that. And there are less days in the year for this. We need 19 more political power, and although our political power is extremely precious, we can use it to take out the damned and get yet another fucking... <sighs> the problem with doing that is it extends our... our border with the Kingdom of Manitoba, and we must defend it. We must defend our borders. Hmm. Well, let's move on. Oh, uh, did, uh, let's see what quelled, um, let's check your national spirits to see what quelled, uh, the one you just, uh, hey. Oh. <laughs> well, at least you're it's not losing better than that. it was. Yeah, well, uh, I'm guessing there'll be a way to upgrade that further later on. Yeah, as we continue down that little tree there. We're pretty much going to secure our northern flank and then continue down the tree we had just started. Um, uh... They're only like 2,300 Canadian dollars. Is the damned um, the last thing up before you hit the northern border, or is there another one after them? There's the Iron Confederacy. Oh, Ooh, you'll be able to steal a lot of uh, power armor from there, it sounds like. Not really. They um, <laughs> uh, they have troubles producing it. But they uh, they do have stockpiles. Like, they have T-51B yeah. and stuff. So if you don't make any... Um, if As long as you don't make any power armor divisions, you can basically just keep those in the back just for uh, sell scavenging missions. So. Mm-hmm. Can we even start a scavenging program? We can. Let's do that. We can. Let's do that.
Uh, mayhem. They don't care as long as you declare it and pay the taxes on it. Uh, yep. If it's from a reputable, just spent. Uh, if it's from like the the Maple Reserve, then it's pro. Then I'm pretty sure it's a company whose products okay. are allowed to be sold across borders. That feels right. That's this isn't legal advice. Bro, our soldiers look like Cobra Commander. Cobra. Fuck yeah. I'll be back. Lol. Wow. One type of heavy back. ship. What is the heavy ship? What is it? I want to know. We have a capital ship. Fuck yeah. We understand the struggle of the citizens that were governed by the Genta. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Eloi has ordered that our soldiers march north to secure our borders with the few nations remaining in the northern reaches. Oh shit, there's a fucking... It's right there! Bro, it's right fucking there! We're going for it. Anything is a capital ship if you just use the cap lock. And then Master Mayhem uh, types a capital ship as a demonstration. It's very effective. And now we move our armies back up here with haste because fuck the damned. They gonna die. I choose you. Four? Come down here. Come down here. Smoke signals. There's so many factories. Good Christmas. Like, I, I, <laughs> we just have too much shit. Oh, yes. Now we're starting to outpace our industry. But that's fine, because eventually we'll get our industry happy. This will calm down pretty quick. Our Borgenta is pretty upset with us, but they belong to us now. Hello. So it doesn't matter what they think. We want all of this. And we want... Sir. All of this. Not not the water. Although it would be nice. Yes. There we go. Click. And then in... 30 days, we will save some damned souls. The damned are a loose democracy that is grasping at survival in these treacherous times. Perhaps we should march north... North and annex the shit out of their territories and show them the glory of working under a state with a will of steel. <laughs> Let, let's show them how a state with some real chest hair works. Let's... I mean, I'm, I have so many factories. I could just get crowd control gear and start pounding out land knights and they'll be, they'll be our power armor equivalents. Oh, they're training their men? That's not good for them. The Aelamon chapter. And to think, I was going to declare on the, on the fucking... The damned, the old-fashioned way. What a fool I was. Ooh, we gobbling some people up. Yeah, it turns out that the exact, like, 
right after this was the claims on the dam territory. <laughs> so we uh, we we went for it. We went hard hard into the paint. A crusade in this econ e economy? Yes. Although we are a quote unquote modern military. Let's do. We can't get that one. We need both of these. So let's get that. Let's start moving down that tree. And we'll begin our war with these butt asses. And these asses entirely constructed of butts. Hello? You hold them. Hey. Do do do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on, come on. Do 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 do. Do do do. Well, let's see how that works out. Do 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 do. Oh. Oh, they're start they're starting to get in. Like that? Okay, and let's take about half of that kit. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want half of that kit. There we go. This is hopeless. Go this way. Had enough? And you guys. No heck you, no heck you. Hello. And we'll take half of yet those. Have them go this way. And gobble all this up. There you go. I'm sure that'll be fine. They're freaking out because oh boy the salient. The golden opportunity. The king's regime is in chaos, as expected of a monarchist regime. According to the Treaty of the First Republican War, the city of Porto Prairie was demilitarized. But the kingdom is busy with more important things, and it costs us nothing to free the inhabitants of the city from the oppression of the kingdom of Manitoba. No deal with the monarchists. The state is no longer a core of the kingdom of Manitoba, it becomes owned and controlled, but. Ooh! Just. What are the, what's the offer? Sorry. This Port of Prairie. This whole province. What? They're offering it to you to not fight. Uh... No. We're going to take oh, I... it as an insult. It's different. Oh. Unlike them, we keep okay. our word and we get stability if we do that. Uh, up to you, I guess. Well, free land and a much better border with which to actually fight them and they are at war with the duchy of landenberg so they're not going to come after us just yet i don't think although their war with us starts pretty quickly so they might they might they might send it on us i feel they will let's keep our word we are men of our word let it be known we're men of our word and our work camps Okay, these are still continuing. Incoming! You take those. I'm hit. You get down. What are you doing? You're just doing stuff. Cut that right off. Oh, yeah. The encirclements are all coming together. Uh, frankly, the political power could be all right. What do we got? 
We get division defense, reinforcement, great. Entrenchment. Speed. 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 We gonna go fast. Right, sir. Okay. You can go this way. I'm okay with that. Hello. And then what are you doing? Uh. Let's go on hand with our brutal encirclements. Hopefully we can pin them down. The old world secrets will be ours. Yeah. Oh, did you just form a scavenging uh Yeah. Thingy? Sure did. Hey. Uh just just go straight there. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, then go there. You built cows, good job. Fuck yeah. We're gonna arrest the ringleaders. How dare they ringleads. Hello. Why aren't you swinging? Go for it. I still like your commanding officer. She's got gumption. She's got sayus. Yeah. War is going extremely well. They don't have a whole lot of leg left to stand on. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Can't let her research go awry. that? No, that's way ahead. No thanks. I said no thanks. Can we get... Ooh, seed selection. That's vital. We need that 500 man's power. Sometimes you gotta just deus a fucking vault, huh? Mm-hmm. Soon you'll be deusing a fucking vault, but that'll be fun. All in good time. Got our smog signals. Let's encode... Shmonk. Let's encode our smoke, it's important. Uh, the Roach King, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> no. You, bitch. <laughs> you want some? Get some! He's fighting the vault, too. Um, excuse me? Hey. Why? Why, why are you... Oh. I'm sure that's fine. It's cool. We'll, we'll let them do their thing. They, they, I'm sure they understand what's going on. They know that we don't like them very much, and and, and we're going to kill them. Oh, Manitoba! I'm getting dickered. You are, you are large though. We are the long republic of three rivers. Three rivers will grow larger. We have many rivers, more than three. Submit. Confirm. Damn, this is yeah. working out way better than I expected to. Hey, your base stability is 15. Yeah, we're based. Purge the rock. Gary's guns. Have some faith. That needs the cells. Uh, Gimli's general Ooh. wears. Vault blues. Ooh. 
400,000 caps. Uh, One of the following must be true. The Republic of Three Rivers is AI controlled. That's not it. That ain't it, Chief. Oh, you can't get that one then, huh? Yeah, because... Cause... <laughs> is, that cheat, is that cheat stuff for the I don't, AI? I don't know. Oh, it's one of the following must be true. The opinion of Vault 30, 37 must be at least 25. Uh, so I need to be bros with them before I can get that. It's doable. Or I have to be a robot. Dude, 400,000 cap. Well. I mean, we could, we could be rolling it. That's some, that's some thick, sick wads of cash. But. Yeah. Then we've got a small, uh. small border here with them. Oh man, we long rivers, boy. Manitoba. We got our smegmals. And let's get our decoding of said signals. Compensate the landowners. Ooh, make a spy company. I could do that. Uh, can I get head position? Yes, I can. Uh, spy company? Spy company. Uh, stop! Uh, just make it the stop sign at the bottom, huh? it out. Stop it. Alright. What else can we do? Form the peasant militia. I'm sure we'll find that later. Scavenge with vehicles. Can I? Yep. Ooh wee. Ooh wee Rick. Where we go. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the duchy is just gonna shit all over them. So... Mm. We could be the Northern Light Republic. Accepting American values? No. I'm sorry, fellas. That doesn't seem like the way we're gonna go. American values are gross. Ooh, dude, that's grody. Stop. The Special Tactics and Operations Agency of the Republic? I like that. It's a nice acronym. Where's the P? It's, uh, technically the, the P in operations is capitalized as well. Oh. Or we could take the P from special. It's really up to you. Special. Is that a crossing? Some of a yes. bitch. That's a crossing. Better guard it. Gotta. Gotta get Hello? my. Gotta get my gird up. Gird that one. Yep. So. Let's take half, half that kit. Put the twos. I'm gonna pick the hey. seventh and the eighth. And you guys can watch this lonely ass end place. Winnipegosis. It's a fun name to say. Winnipegos? Winnipegosis. Winnipegosis. Why not Pago's eyes? Away we go. I was gonna say, Dutchie, are you really 
so scared. I thought for a second they had guys on my border, but they don't. They're just wrapping up Manitoba like a... Aw, oh, man. That's sad. Just think, we could have taken that for free. But we, we, we hit the safe bets. That's fine. Oh, yes, another bloodbath. Cut it out. Defense. Then steel technology. I know you're horny for it, Newt, but we're not we're not near them. We have we have tons of time. I'm gonna take that quick pause there. Pop that. Pop that. And then complete the land reform. Having rounded up the last of our troubles, it's time to complete the final stages of our land reform. Stripping the vexatious wells from their, of their power. The vexatious wells. Whoever the fuck that is. Power and restraining, or reinstating responsible landowners to tend to their lands. Yeah. Consumer goods. Oh, that monthly population is going to be great. Especially since you already have a surplus of manpower. Yeah. Are you at war at the moment or no? Sorry? No. Uh. No, um, our next war goal would likely be... We would have to pick one. Because, like, this is going to come down here. And we really need to choose. Sam McGregor, eh? Hmm. I am the Senate. What else we got? Could probably invest in guns. Guns might be okay. Might be smart. Let's get better pioneer kits. Contact loss, that's not good. Rescue team. Thank goodness. Anti party sands. Now you can send out menu you can send out manual scavengers right away. Yep, which I'm do. You there. Reduce the problems. <laughs> We need that. Oh, is there a rebellion in the kingdom? Man, our fucking planes are bad. Bad. In the divided government. Fuck. Damn, Brandon's fucking crazy. That's a full economic node. Shit, Manitoba, you on fire. Oh, so yeah. are you about to be, though? Almost likely. Operative slots. Uh, an agency upgrade type minus 15%. Yep, I'm feeling that. And it's, and it's not an either or, is it? No. You get both. Nice. Why not both? Oh, what else can we get? We are... Marching down our doctrine. We can get robots. Technically, we can get fairly good cars. We can get all the way up to here. We can get wasteland tanks. Um, I think. Because we have manpower.
Let's get some dust in a baggie. See you, Valley. Man, so like, Manitoba, they're both going for each other's throat. What a mess. Seriously, this war between Manitoba and the Duchy Landenberg, if it was a 1990s television show, it would be called What a Mess. Look at them go. In Circle City. Too bad you can't swoop in and whoop both of them. Yeah, I know. If only I could be the honorable third party. Although technically I could. We're not working on that specifically at the moment, though. Dude, we can get vault Tech Power Armor. What? Yay! Oh, we can... Oh! Oh, shit. Dude. And mandatory rowing exercises. Bro. Bro. Oh, but you gotta pay for it. We can we can pay for it. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Add advanced oh, power armor yeah. schematics. So like, you can get we can Isn't get that better all... than the Brotherhood of Steel has. Tec well, it is what the Brotherhood of Steel has. Yeah. Call upon an old friend. Is that fucking China? What? Oh, there's an option to be go communist. Really? I well, think. Well, yeah, I'm I'm pretty fucking sure that's what it is. <laughs> uh, it's a mouse. It's a uh, Mauser, and it's a bunch of stars. So yeah, yes, uh, it's a broom handle handled Mauser, which China made a lot of. They liked it. Oh, we can get claims on the Roach King next. Oh. 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 C96. Um. Yeah, it's lovingly called the broom handle, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to let Vault 37 kill the Roach King. Then we're going to kill Vault 37 because they will have Roach nice. King's place. So we're going to Which will give you claims on them by, deep, by extension. Finger guns. Um, so we're going to relax our brewing laws because as Canadians, that is the most prudent thing we could be doing. And also political power. Um. Well, yeah. You're buying, People you're buying gonna, favor with beer. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna forge it up. Uh, the recent reshuffle in land or ownership has ruffled many. Stress and low morale is the bane of any great nation. So why don't we lack some brewing laws and give our citizens some more chances to get hammed, get all turned up, get slizzard. All right, I'm hitting like a like a serious second win. We might go for a little bit longer than I expected. All right, I'm feeling I'm feeling until eleven o'clock. Let's send it. Eleven. eleven. So instead of a half hour left, we have an hour and a half left to to see what we can do with the Republic of Three Rivers. There's discussion that the next Ox Mayor should have a trial by lawn darts. Uh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> they have to be the ones that are bigger than your arm, though. A family guy, Peter, and his uh, friends had a clubhouse in the attic, uh, and Lois was sitting on the couch, and a couple of lawn dart tips go through the fucking ceiling, and he, she says, Peter, are you do playing lawn darts up there? And he says no, and then a, a lawn dart goes through the ceiling and lands right where she was sitting two seconds ago, and he says, yay, lawn darts, guys, I want lawn darts. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Ooh. Ooh. Steel blueprint effectiveness. What's that? Is that bad? Ooh. Although technically we don't need it we don't need it for what we're gonna do. I know. But well, we can steal special we can steal specialized stuff from other people. 
Yeah. And we can also just get bonuses for, um, like, regular tech, huh? It's true. No one lawn darts, guys. Division recovery rate, entrenchment speed, and experience soldier losses. Yeah, we're do we're doing beer rations. We ready for it? Yeah, we're ready for it. Uh, they like rum rations, but better. Kinda. Well, you don't have to dilute. They, they would they were diluting their rum rations to about beer strength anyway. Huh? Yeah. What's the point? May as well just have beer. Uh, the new changes to the brewery laws have cultivated a joyous culture around what is now a staple to many. Stubby bottles flow like water, warming the stomach and spirits. A perfect fix for a disgruntled soldier. Rum doesn't go bad. That's true. Uh, technically, it also sa saves space from water, but if you're mixing it with drinking water, that sort of mixes itself. Yeah. So, it, so it's mostly just the preservation at that point. Craig PD said, gave Brotherhood to steal a go. Which one? Since not since not played for a long while, and wow, did they change that faction, eh? Kind of unfun relying on off-map event, off event rolls and AI decide your own run success, but yeah. So are you playing uh, Lost Hills, Craig? Because, yeah, that's they go tall, but you don't get to have a lot of fun. Oh. Unless you really, like, are adamant on breaking out and fighting with the NCR. Oh my god, one of the... Th meeting with the Métis or having none of it, huh? Yeah, but having none of it. Yeah. You get, ex you get sophisticated exploitation for having none of it. Versus what's the alternative? Uh, um, what's you, meeting the Métis give? You get robotics research, which is what uh, I have none of it, uh. And the Métis have to be cool with us and the Stampede have to have to exist. So we're building our beer. We're building our beer. We need both of those. We need to come down here with this. So we need to get this. Um, public schools? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. No, Catholic schools. <laughs> Ooh, research slots. Ooh. 5,000 local population. And industry tech. Oh, this is an OP faction, isn't it? There's a lot of good shit here. We, yep. could, we could make... We, hey, we could, we what could, was public schools? So is that stability by chance? No. That you desperately need? No, it's a pill to refugees. I don't desperately Oh, well, we, oh, research speed and... You get better research speed and then you get a research slot after that. That's yeah. awesome. Huh? Yeah, which is nuts. So I'm heavily considering going down there next. Um, it's just so we can get this bridge. Oh, feed the people. Feed my children. Feed my children. The honey standard. Instead of the gold standard? Well, yeah. Well, we're not... Well, we're going to have honey banks, you know. We're going to have honey money. <laughs> what does this do? So this is the elites. Shared prosperity... Uh, I wonder if it, it's not going to change your government, is it? Add PFCs, which is enforcement, enforcer warriors, which is good. Better boats, which is... <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> maybe do everything. Maybe pick a tree that's good up to the point before it replaces your leader, because your leader's a good leader. She's kind of earned it. Uh... Oh my god, look at all this shit. Does that change your political party, though? This one, yes, because we are uh, we are the we are the public, uh, we're the people. That makes elites the ruling party. Uh, this gets rid of divided government. Um, uh, ma, 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 ma. Uh, I wonder if that lets you keep your current leader. Does it change your government at no, all? No, this one's ruler. This, oh, sophisticated infantry, clans and the old believers. Yeah, that's your current leader, Eloy Steele, isn't it? Uh, yep. 
Um, just on principle, I'd go down that one, but it's up to you. Because she's done us good. Uh, yeah. And she also just has good base skills. Because uh, And gets even more of them. Uh. Ruler? Are we ruler? We're people, though. But I think, is she also the leader of the ruling party, maybe? Uh, or the, yeah, the, uh... Karna McDowell. Huh. So wait, how, why does it give her stuff if that goes down the ruling party? Can you double check it to make sure that actually said ruler? It might make her a general. Mother of the Republic. But I don't think uh, it would. Uh, keep go Maybe it makes her somebody you can hire. Maybe uh, what's the top? What's Heart of Steel uh, at it, the top? Uh, it doesn't say that. It changes the government type. No. I'm looking to make sure it doesn't. I don't think it does. It just, it makes you, wait, well, what's Curtail the Merchants? Uh, oh, that doesn't, cha that that just balance, I think that just balances your government a bit, but still keeps her in charge. Uh, I think so, yeah. What's Heart of Steel specifically give for? The top one, the heart. It removes the divided government, which sucks. Yeah, so 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 you keep her. That that's this looks like a good tree. Yeah, just gonna look at this one to see if it. Her secrets, eh? Hmm. It removes the Northern Lights. Another research slot. Oh shit! But but minus thirty stability. Ooh, blimpy boys and vertebrates. We get Falschemjäger. Sweet. What party is that? Uh, uh, this one is... Intellectual. Yes. Now, so, def definitely not the left one. We're definitely not doing the left one, I don't think. No, not with a velvet glove. But there's also... There's a, there's a fourth set we could do, which is over here. Uh which is the second coalition, but... But there's this specific thing in here that's just... It just goes against what we're trying to do here. Uh... The, the accepting American values. I, I don't believe... Just do it. Uh, no, no way. We're not doing that. We're doing the Heart of Steel. Which means that we have to go all the way down the, the Republic stuff. Because it requires... It's not mutually exclusive, though. You can do both. Hmm? I think, I think we could, yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. Also, I'll be right back in the scrum this moment. Indeed. Mm, indeed. Mm, yeah. Level 2 opos. Marching on Manitoba. Yeah. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, because these are... These three are mutually exclusive. So these three are the end game, and every other part of the tree is free to take. So we are going to plan to move down Heart of Steel. But we're going to clean up most of this. And we're going to clean up all of this. Battle for Brigades, fuck yeah. Sweet. So we're just we're just gonna get fucking free sweet boats for doing the free navy. We made interesting contacts from beyond the shore. A group of armorers are presenting us a line of mechanized armor beyond what we've ever seen. They've given us options and long numbered prices. Shall we begin negotiations? Oh man. Homemade PA. Hmm. Clad in red steel in our heartfelt regalia. Buy the latest model. Well, we'll come to that when we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. 
Oh, if we wait, we can get three free units of PA if we get secret contacts. Or con yeah, contacts. Just like mom used to make. Hmm. Well, we're working on beer rations. Let's get it going. Let's. Let's do that. We have months for days. Let's gun runners. Current opinions fifty. Let's get common guns. Start arming our guys with actual good shit. And production. Let's produce some crowd gear. Lord knows we don't need that much of that. Are we building guns? No. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll build our own guns. Uh, don't care about the mavens. Just can't be fucked. Healing power. Ooh, H and H tools. That's all right. Construction speed and indu industry industry tech research speed fifteen percent. It's not fucking bad. We get that in early. Probably be really good. Um, come on, Vault Thirty Seven, make it happen, brother. Lord Thunder and Jesus. Jesus. No pop ups, bad. Smack. Hey, the Order of St. George. Our boys. Central Trade Hub. The Republic of Three Rivers stands at a perfect geographical position in Canada, being the central connection between three usable rivers. Well, we have been exploiting this advantage to save, to, so have others using our waters freely with no tariffs. We cannot allow this any longer. We must tax them. It's the tax that gets you. Ah, oh, yes. Beer rations. It's important. While the world is on fire. Oh. oh shit, are we getting the power armor we have at home? Or? Oh, we're thinking about it. We're thinking about it. Probably be a pretty good idea, to be fair. Um. Damn. We have power armor at home. The power armor at home. That's a lot of reliability. That's fucking cool. And free repair. I'm feeling that, actually. The reliability. Send out the bikes! Oh, we found, uh... H&H &H tools. Hey! So they have a uh, construction speed and industry tech research. They're cool. They but... need a Canadian tire. Oh, my dude. Maintenance, but cheaper. No, they need. A, they need a tire faction. Yeah, you get access 
they need a faction with the Chinese. They need a faction just called the Tire. North End Markets. North End has been home to many craftsmen and general hard workers that over the years have become more and more prevalent. With a bit of investment and support, we could start a market with all these products for those that pass by our waters. Ha ha ha, Gary. Ha ha, Gary. Gary! Gary. Gary. You can do a Gary faction, by the way. Really? Oh, God. I think so. <laughs> That's not good. That's great. Nimb they are very good at much, but they have, but they they're unmatched in manpower. Yes. Nimomic man wants to stop at Timmy's. What do you want, bro? If... Double level. What is he a cliche? Hey man, some people like that shit. Let's stop at McDonald's. The coffee's better. Ooh. The Dibleys. When's the last time you had Canadian, uh, McDonald's coffee? Oh, uh, McDonald's coffee? That would have been last week. And I only get Ooh. mochas. Coffee's not coffee. Is... Go ahead. I don't know why yours is so bad. Uh, can it, uh, Tim Hortons switched to, switch to a much cheaper, crappier supplier, and McDonald's Canada swooped it up. So now they have the coffee... That Tim Hortons had that used to be good. Yep. Snooze, you lose. Yep. It's King of the Manitobans that's they're their own thing. We're quote unquote ready for them. We've got dogs. We've got drugs. What else do we need? We're also producing uh, crowd gear. Arrive early to beat the crowds. Yep. Because, eventually... Oh no, that's that's this one. We want this. So we don't necessarily need it, and we're going to go power armor. We're going to get sophisticated infantry tech, which would be fine. Sophisticated. Oh. oh baby, we're going to get an extra 10% fucking speed. We're going to have some fucking fast boys. They, they fast. Oh, the Iron Brigade. If we have the secret contacts done, we get three free power armor divisions. Or we get three free spec ops divisions if we don't want to do that. But we're starting to go down this. We're going to get that public nice. school right now. Public schooling. While our citizens are happy with their living conditions... There is still a large issue that plagues our children, the lack of schooling. If we are to truly be a civilized nation, we must invest in the public schooling for our little ones. We gotta bully them until they're better. Yeah. What? What? Who said that? That's crazy. Is there a draft in here or something? No, no, they're too young for that so far. Another couple of years. That'll be drafty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's all coming up, Melhouse. Oh! Death Claws ate her shit. That's not good. That's bad. Send out Manuel. Uh, Hello. But we need more bicycle. No, we need to take about thirty-seven. I want it. I bet I want they have it. tasty stuff. Though. I want it. I want it. The two peoples will be one people, and those people will be republic. Yes. The republic will be long. Yep, we start with recon on our boys too. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, no, but dogs. No, but he means, uh, yeah. Give them dags. Uh. I'm feeling that. 
Cops came to me there the other day, told me my dags were chasing people on bicycles. I told them my dags don't even know how to ride bicycles. Damn dags. All right, now we actually have to produce the dags, though. We're a little bit hasty on that, but that's all right. All our divisions are, unsup are unfilled for some reason. You're getting a really low rating because the, you can't pet the dogs. Yep, people mad. They want all 285 dog. dog. Wow. Dog important. That's a lot of dog. It's a lot of dog. It's not a small amount of dog. Hello, I'm looking for dog. Sweet, sweet dog. Uh, was having barbecue and dog run out. Dakota chapter? What? What? Bring them to our fold. What the fuck is... Oh, is that a native power armor guy? What? There's Montana and Dakota. Did the, did the, is there a Rise of the Brotherhood or something? Head Paladin Heyman. Such a quote... Uh, let, I'll read it. Let me read the thing. One, one second. I'll be nice. Let's see that right. big dirty tree. Ooh, the lolly. Ooh. That's sexy. Anima it's animated. Yeah. Man. I want to be Dakota. Next time, baby. So, like, I imagine that... So, there is stuff in the Montana Brotherhood. If you go down... Uh, your boy Patroculos. Because, like... This isn't his original picture. Ain't that that, ain't that, um, ain't that Achilles quote-unquote roommate of 20 years? <laughs> His best, they were good friends. They were good homies. They were good friends who slept in the same bed and were also buried in the same urn together. Nice. Just homies. Well, I mean, sometimes homies can be, but can be more, you know? They're, they're just roommates. They're just roommates. Yep, they were history's greatest roommates. <laughs> Achilles, Achilles and Patroclus. Achilles. Come on, give us freedom's best and brightest. And then we're going after the roach. Now that our children and young folk are the most educated in the wasteland... The free republic that Aloha governs governs is entering a new area of prosperity and intelligence as a bacon of light for the dank wasteland. Mm. Mavis Bacon. Montana. Dude, Washington. he cried for when he found out he died. He cried for a week, tried to bury his own head in the sand, and then his mom had to come and comfort him. I know, I know an ended relationship when I see one. Huh? Yeah, that's a bad time. Man. His mom was a goddess, though. Fuck's sake, must be nice. I bet. Uh, Hephaestus himself made his armor out of gold, among other things. Oh, uh, well, that's pimp. It is pimp. And because it was made by a god, you know it's not going to be like, oh, it's gold, so it's flimsy. No. No, it's God Gold. Yep, exact. Actually, like, apparently there's... In Fool's Gold, there's actually bits of real gold. Yeah, but you need to... Uh, you need, it's really hard. Fool's Gold is made of iron, and iron's really hard to melt. Especially if you're just a guy panning on the... Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, to actually separate the... The yeah. small nuggets of gold that you would actually want would be a hell. And it would be a waste of time to carry it anywhere hey. to do it. Uh, Just a boot. Oh, fuck. Look at all the commendations. Lord Tiger nice. and Jesus. Uh, is this new with the commendations thing? Yeah. Recovery rate's always good. Sweet. Just start powering down our stuff now. Yeah, he went berserk. Uh, he went berserk before berserkers were a thing. Eh? 
And then Achilles went off and slaughtered everyone he could get his hands on and did some horrifying stuff to the killer of Patroclus before showing off his body for a bit. Such bad. He dragged Hector behind his uh, chariot around the city. That's what he gets. Then, of all people, Paris himself uh, went and uh, begged to have the body back. And he was so moved that he gave the body back and didn't even kill him, even though he was the cause of the entire war. Damn. Wait, no, no, it wasn't Paris. It was, um, it was his father, uh, Priam. The king. Shit, dude. And I guess when a king comes to you in parlay, it's not okay to kill him, uh... Yeah. It's not really worth it to do those. Could do those. We'll come back to it, though, I think. Can we get this? Yes, we can. Odysseus should have died, and Penelope should have gotten a, a husband that wasn't terrible. Bro, have you been sitting in on fucking uh, Kejan's Roman history skill up or what? What? What the fuck, dude? Excuse you. That's <laughs> Greek history transitioning to Roman history. <laughs> Is that a hard yes? T no, actually, I'm just familiar. I've read the Iliad and the Odyssey like twelve times each. Damn, dude, that's fucking kind of sick. Yeah. Th those aren't exactly easy reads, aren't they? Yeah. No, I started in elementary school, too. I got the tism. They have... machine guns. Hmm. Well, we've got claims on them. But yeah, you surprisingly weren't far off because one of the uh, alleged sources of the founding of Rome was survivors of uh, Troy that escaped. Nice. Yeah. The brothers Romulus. N uh, no, different uh, founding. Hmm. I think that was when they became a kingdom. Uh, hmm. So we've got claims on it. So that means we have to justify bullshit. That's not bad. We can do it whenever we like. Where is he? So, Newt, should we wait until our boys have dogs before we swing at Vault 37? Uh, probably wouldn't hurt. Yeah, okay. I'm alright with that. Uh, production's gonna ramp up fast on doggos. So. Oh yeah. It's not gonna be long. Once it gets to about, like, a hundred dogs, or it's like a dog a day, I've, I'll feel safe swinging it. The Aenid was a wacky book. Grimos yeah, agrees. I'm trying to find a family tree that actually connects Romulus to Aeneas. So. It's the story of Aeneas. Which is the story of a Trojan Aeneas. warrior. Okay, Aeneas begat Silvius. Silvius begat Aeneas Silvius. Uh, Silvius begat Latinus Silvius. Who begat Alba? Who begat Attis? Who begat Capitus? Who begat Get Tiberinus Silvius? Which I do believe is where we get uh, the river Tiber from. Uh, uh, then really? Agrippa, then, Romu then Romulus Silvius. Then Avent Aventinus, Procas, Numentor, and Rhea Silvia slept with the god Mars, which we get Romulus and Remus. Sick. And Romulus and Hercilla just are apparently the direct descendants of every king of Rome. All at once. All at once, uh, definite. It's definite. They definitely didn't just do that to uh, legitimize their power. Not at all. No sir. No way. No siree, Bob. No Bob. Oh no, no Bob. I get AT rifles. Might need them. Might need them. No, Grimos. I already corrected myself. It was Priam. Oof. Uh, 
Harris uh, killed Heck, uh, killed um, Achilles though. With the wor with what would have otherwise been the worst shot in human history, uh, he was he was aiming center mass and managed to hit him, clip him on the ankle, which is what killed him. Bullets, my only weakness. How did you know? But yeah, Odysseus is a piece of shit. <laughs> Just like McMurray. <laughs> you make me angry. <laughs> uh, um, I feel a weird sense of betrayal that I used to look up to him, but now that I am an adult, I can realize what a horrible person he is. Dude, um, when they... So, okay, let's start before he even left. Uh, let me double check something. Checking. Nope, anarchists, get out. Get out. Send the vehicles. Now kick them out. Boom, boom. Pow. So, when fight when everybody was fighting over he uh, Helen, Odysseus finally proposed that everybody, uh, all the suitors, swear an oath that they have to defend the chosen husband, no matter who it is. Uh, and of note is the fact that he was the only one present that did not take the oath, despite proposing it. <laughs> Let's start there. Uh, <laughs> So when the Trojan time came time to be um to uh begin the Trojan War, when they went to go gather him, uh, he feigned mental illness uh, and was pulling a plow while trying to sow salt into the earth. You know that thing that was worth more than gold. Uh, he was tossing it into the second most valuable thing, value <laughs> valuable vi uh, vineyards, and the only reason that uh, he stopped. And can we also we can we also say that Agamemnon is a piece of shit because the te te <laughs> test it uh, he took Odysseus's infant son and laid him in front of the pl uh, path of the plow Odysseus was pulling and at the very last minute Odysseus stopped the horses from running over his son, thus proving that he wasn't insane. No, he just had a moment of clarity. <laughs> So he had to go to war. On the way to the, <laughs> on the way to Troy, uh, we haven't even reached Troy yet. Uh, there's this guy who had these, this very important artifact called the called the arrows of Hercules, which are dipped in the blood of the Hydra, which is the most poisonous substance known to God or man in Greek mythology. Um, the house of Atreus got what it earned. Um, so poisonous. Philoctetes, by the way, was his name. Philoctetes. He, uh, that's the, that was the goat man in um, in Hercules the movie. So um, <laughs> well, uh, so while they're sailing, a um, a snake bites Philoctetes in the leg. Uh, uh, and despite it being prophesied that they need Philoctetes and the arrows of Hercules to leave Troy or to conquer Troy, the smell got so bad that Odysseus insisted that they abandon him and his arrows on an island uh, because his foot smelled so bad from the snake bite. And he eventually convinced everybody to do it. Why didn't they so just not, lop, so, lop the foot off and yeah, yeet it over the ship? So, uh, <laughs> fast forward nine years. Uh, fast forward nine years later, and they actually had to go back uh, sheepishly and offer him a ridiculous amount of treasure yeah. to come back because he'd been living on that island the whole time with his poor mangled foot. Jesus Christ! Philoctetes have the leg story so sad that they just give you goat legs in the Hercules movie. <laughs> oh gosh, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty upsetting. 
So when they were stealing the Palladium, which was a gift from Poseidon and made it so the city wasn't conquerable without it, mm. uh, him and Diomedes snuck into Troy to steal it. And on the way back, Odysseus decided that he wanted full credit, so he tried to kill Diomedes, another Greek hero who is the only person in the story, the only mortal to have stabbed a god and made them flee. He tries to kill Diomedes, and Diomedes t beats him, hog ties him, and carries him and the Palladium back to camp. And he hasn't even left. He, he's he hasn't even left to start heading home yet for all the horrible stuff that he did in the Odyssey. We can. Demand he's not a good characters. person, and he is not worth respect. And he is not a hero. Huh? We can demand our territories from uh, Vault Thirty-Seven. <laughs> it, is, it just reminds me of when. Uh, like that's it, it just reminds me of Lenny when he was tearing up that picture of that uh, teen st uh, tween starlet. Like, I believed in you! Fuck it, we're gonna send that deadline. I feel very much betrayed by him. Oh, they bitch out and gave it all up. Ah! <laughs> nice. You cheeky minx. But now that but means... Three Rivers was still hungry! Now... Do, is that their land? Do we have their disputed territories? Doesn't seem what's, they have foreign claims. What's funny is I was watching Oh Brother Where Art Thou with the, uh, the movie with George Sorry. Clooney. I was watching that with my partner and I was just hating how totally piece of shit and unrelatable the protagonist was. Mm -hmm. And then my partner mentions that it's meant to be a modern take on the Odyssey and I'm like, holy shit, I hate this guy too. They wrote this perfect. I hate this guy almost as much as I hate Odysseus. Good job. Quality Basically, rating. neither neither Odysseus nor George Clooney in that movie deserve to be happy. <laughs> Jeez. Well, it's true. <laughs> totally reasonable points. All right, one sec. I'm gonna he's a... mosey on over to my fridge. He's out of line, but he's right. Yeah, you know it. I'm going to wrap my hands around uh, the cold, cool, refreshing taste of Sprunk. And we're going to pour us a rum. A nice, respectable rum. About two fingers of Kraken. The black rum. Because the old black rum's got a hold on me. Like a dog wrapped around my leg. Oh, I just realized the horse of Diomedes weren't a uh, contradiction. It's an entirely different Diomedes. Yep, Kraken's always a good choice. Just like Sam Adams. That'll wash the taste of hooker spit out of your mouth. And cigarettes, I believe it was. I believe the court Um, was. Artemis is pretty, uh, pretty straight shooter I'd be okay allying with Artemis Artemis also deserves a better champion than Odysseus they've got robots right which is probably why she worked with Diomedes so much what's her opinion 55 we're almost at I need 70 Let's keep buying common ballistic. Eventually we'll be producing our own, but for now, let's stock up on better guns. And as soon as we have the political power, that's honestly not bad at this point. It's actually, we're getting political power. But once it's up, we're going to get our, uh, our Peter Pettigrew for conventional warfare. 
A lot of people agree that the only Olympian that wasn't a piece of shit was Hestia, and that's only because there's so few tales surviving about her that we don't. That it, that we just don't know tale. enough to think that she's a scumbag. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> oh yes. Did I say Artemis? Uh, I meant Athena. Yes, thank. You. What are you talking about? Athena's one of the greatest women wrestlers. Oh wait, that's current. That's current. Sorry. Okay, so we're we have formed the Republic of Three Rivers into a very tall backwards sea. What are the two peoples? Tribos. Artemis is kind of vindictive. Tribos. I want AT before I take. Vault 37. Hello. First it was dogs, now it's AT. Yep. How's your dogs coming? Speaking of. Speaking of. I had 208. We've got 100 dogs I might, right there. I might, the, uh, I might stream Zeus the old uh, city building game at some point. The Iron Don't know if any of you played that. The Iron demands territory. We'll deal with this. Oh. Hey. Uh, they're the same. It's the same company that made uh, Pharaoh and Caesar. So oh, yeah. Hey. Half and half. Oh, the Blighted Woods won their war. It it's fun because you can see Hades jo or uh, Hermes jogging through your town on his morning constitutional. Hello. That's kind of sick. Yep. It's a fun game. So we're going to uh, not give uh, these nerds what they want. We're going to do the opposite, as a matter of fact. Yeah, and they're going to probably declare on us, which, frankly, we want. Because <laughs> we're just going to kill them and take their shit. So uh, let's get the stand back reclamation. Now I'm hoping... I'm hoping Vault Vault 37 just just sucks it up and deals with what we've done to them. You are tall. We, we are a long Republic of Three Rivers. How do my vehicles do? Tell me. A mighty step. Cool. Ooh. Research gain. That's alright. Send out the manuals. Ooh, Swiss sauce. Fuck yeah. Secret burger. Speckle. Wait, was burger. that Swiss chalet? Or... I don't know. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, I wanted to read that. Oh, it's the Swiss I sauce. You said, I thought you said Swiss sauce. Yeah, the secret sauce. Um, why is it boats? Boats, stop it. I want you promote the node. Hey. And now they have sent on us. So, let's make them pay for it. Although they have PA. Let's try and surround them. Soon we, soon we will have their PA. Yeah. That's the plan. And we'll betide them if we're actually able to... Excellent. Yeah, we'll betide them if we're actually able to break through this. The island crossing is a bit of a problem. Oh, I'm not even gonna try and. Oh, hey. hey, that wasn't that the, your biggest obstacle. In theory. In theory. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these enough? native towns. I'm, it would just be disrespectful to do this so. <laughs> Hell's yeah. Send the boys. Oh god, the delicious cutoffs. Sir. Yeah. Half that kit. Fuck them. Oh, sir. I'll be right back. Hi. Right. Sir. All right. Have a good one, Rimworld Hero. Uh -huh. Oh hell yeah! Crank up the dogs. They'll be needed. They'll be needed. Okay. 
Oh god, we don't need 700 bicycles. Oh god. Let's get the honey standard. Cut them off. Oh, yeah. Hey, lest we get fucked. Oh, good. Our recons are reconning. That takes a while. Can we kick our industry? Not yet. That's still being worked on. That's still a ways away. That's pretty much good. That's being worked on. Sure. Mortarized enforcers. Here. Oh, your power armor got fucked. Uh. Um, take the political power because it's more important, and we want Peter Pettigrew. They're getting bone zoned. There's nothing they can do. Let's take Your you. Because there is six on there, four on there. Where's the rest of it? Where is the rest of it? Ah, oh, yes. Hey. Join that push, fellas. <clears throat> Pause. Hey. Click them on you. Click uh. them. Perfect. No, no. Yes, yes. And then we'll surround and we'll kill all of their PA. Sir. Well, this army just crushes all that's over here, and hopefully they capitulate. Solve the energy shortage. Grab this territory. Hand eggplant. Oh, hell yeah. Have fun, Rimworld Herald. Enjoy your TTRPG. Regulate that. Keep promoting our node. We should probably continue to buy guns. Buy guns. Morning, Sir Skelly Man. We are the long republic of three rivers. And we're about to literally secure the corner. This is going a hell of a lot better than I expected it to, to be to be truly honest. Because we are causing untoward damage. There are ministers for this. That war finally kicks off with the orcs. We have a little manpower because we're trying to... Hey! How dare you cut me off like that? That's, that's I've rude. Got this one. Had enough? I've got this one! No, no, no. I 
Hey. Yes. Cut them off. Hello. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ooh, buttered sourdough. Nice. We gift the Republic a victory. Now we could just shit on the Blighted Woods at whim. The old believers at whim. We have a... We get something for that soon enough. Any defenders of the Republic before I do that. So we can just get this and then get this. Oh, we can get that too. Fuck you. Yeah. So, what are we working on? Oh, that'll be done in a day. Be on it in a day. Not still working on. Still 3.5 ahead. Could make robots. <laughs> Sad puppy eyes. Turbo toasty worm. And buttered sourdough says Grimos. Mmm, Sister Skelly Man gave me some. Grimos says mine. Sir Skelly Man delivers the sad puppy eyes. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. Still too far ahead. Let's pick dynamite. We're just hurt for stuff to pick. We may as well start doing the dynamites. Uh, we will not be pushed around by Battleford. Feed the people. Ah, oh, mama, 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 mama. Let's get radios. Sorry about that. I am back. Welcome back. Uh, we're an even longer Republic of Three Rivers. Nice. Now Battleford is threatening to raid us. Uh, although that's probably not a good idea. They're at war with the Great Stampede. So, really, what we're looking to do next <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to get Bolt 37 to actually like us. So, I'm pretty sure Vault Blues is locked for us. And we don't really care about the robotics, we'll get that eventually. Let's start working down the Army of the Republic, maybe? No, let's get the Free Navy to Secret Contacts. And then we'll get the Army of the Republic. And we'll go all the way down to Heart of Steel. That's my plan. Let's go. And we can upgrade our units. They have dogs. They should have chems. I'm feeling that. Let's give them AT. They have good enough work. I'm okay with that. They're 14 wide. Yeah. Yeah, fuck with that. Those are dogs. 158. Make it 150 a day. Or one point one, we're making one and a half dogs a day. What if I pub right. at thirty-seven? Should force high Yeah, that's not that's not a bad idea actually. But I would have to kill them first. Um, they find nothing. That's okay. Send the vehicles. Around and around and around we go. Let's be souse. It's the honey banks. Broderization. I think trucks sell better. Yeah. I think.
Alright. And then we'll get the free navy. Start working on that. Zasilbis. Hello, does anyone know if it's possible to know what Focus's AI does without Spies DLC? No clue. That's a good question. Um... Because, I mean, I don't have any spies in, in here. And you can't, you can't really tell at all what they're doing. So I'd imagine you'd need it. Yeah, this is uh, the Old World Blues mod for Hearts of Iron. The Fallout mod. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, the brain dings. It's a lot of fun, dude. I have a, I, I really enjoy it. Let's harden our basic SF. Oh, the order. You got screwed, didn't you, bud? Sweet hat, though. The Fring Broken Bow Cancel. Okay. Is Kaisar's Legion in it? No. No, it's not. Nice. <laughs> they're uh they're actually they're like the Germany of this game, actually. They're a very, very good starting faction to try. Um I would consider playing them over the NCR first. Man, we're going to butt heads with the Dakota chapter before too long. I'm going to be sad. Because they look fucking badass. Yep. Never mind. The Dakota's after them now. Apparently Yellowstone kicked MacArthur's ass. That makes sense. That's what makes sense here. Yeah, this is going to be a whole hull of balloon. We're going to need missile launches to deal with that for for proper dynamite. Maintaining our advantage. Porto Prairie. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. I need... That was this. That's right here. Yeah. We needed to take that when it was offered to us. Or we need to kill Manitoba, one of the two. Man, if Dundurn wins this fucking war, I'm gonna lose it. I've never seen Dundurn actually make it out. Especially against the, the bullshit robots that Manifest Hope puts out. Dundurn has capitulated. Oh, usually. But the Order of St. George isn't doing so hot either. Let's make our guns better. Yeah. Everything's coming up for Public Lift 3 Ever's house. No, Cam Loot. Slamming the loops. Factory will put 10%. Fuck yeah. And then I was all like, fuck yeah. Promote the node. Buy more guns. Let's buy some LMGs. Boom. Now we can buy advanced weaponry. Then we can sit on that for a while. Can we... We can do, like, sweet fuck all with our bottle caps economy. <laughs> uh, you want to save them by power armor, remember? Yeah, but it costs we... 700, it costs 750k. We make 100k per month. And it costs us... 61k. Growing lower as we, because uh, we have a twelve percent to buy discount. Yeah. Nice. We're also buying LMGs. 
for 79k, which is a bit a bit much, but it is in fact a multiplayer game. But we are not playing multiplayer. This is just a single run of uh, Republic of Three Rivers. Um, me and Newt are considering doing some multiplayer in this, though. Possibly next, not next week, but the week after, because we this is a every other week uh, show, quote unquote show. Oh, fuck, we're still looking for something to do with that, weren't we? Mobile recon. Well, let's fucking let's get those. Cause if we actually start making some crazy, oh god. You need roads. You haven't been building, have you? Oh, I have been. Because uh, this, the north end, which is our capital. Yeah, but you obviously went, you went through your backlog faster than you expected. Like, Looks like. Far. So we're just going to give that full. Give those full. Give that full. And then we'll just connect the homeland. We're going to want all that kit. Cool. Let her ride. Now, she's okay. controlling too much. I love how these, these snowflakes look like chaos stars instead of, you know, something Canadian. Hello. Let's take these. Start a fresh army. Uh -huh. Alright, let's promote somebody. This guy's supposed to have a fucking medal. Let's promote him. Yeah. Did I, did I not do that? Did I fuck that up? I did. What do you got? He's built to destroy. Not all that great otherwise. Hmm. We'll give him that. It's whatever. It'll be fine. Hey. We'll actually assign him. Hey. And that's all technically on that border. My guy, Bladed Woods. Costs four more for 95 days, A. Eh? For a brutal border on Kingdom of Manitoba. I also have half a mind to start producing uh, robots to start tamping down on the the bad stuff. Like all of this. How's this looking? Well, that's fine. Let's get this. Tall Mountie seeks to eat my bones. Oh, well, he'll eat something. Most likely a That's lot it. of dirt. G U R T dirt. And then hey. you can have this with one of those. You, sir. And hey, you. Yeah. No, no, no. Hello. Yes, I want that one guy. I don't want the node. Stop it. Uh. Yeah, you. Hey. Field commanders. Anybody else been promoted? You have. Welcome to the team. Skilled. Oh, he's all right. Hell yeah. We take those. Uh. He's even better than your other guy. Let's give him... The Strangers. Uh. I don't think we've upgraded her at all. Sure haven't. Because we'll have it eventually. But it's not ready. So. Hello. 
these three, take this. Hello. This army, take this. Yeah. And then, uh. select her, select this. The push, select this. Sir. The push, select this. Uh. The push. Click. Oh, uh, push it real good. <sighs> Maintaining our boats. boats. Is that an outboard motor? Yeah. It's important to have outboard motors to fish in. It's efficient. Coordinated assault arrived just in time for your coordinated assault. Yeah, you're. No longer get old world extraction schematics. Shame that. Do -do -do -do. Oh, it's underway. Hazard protection. We're almost up on our dogs. Sweet. Once we get radio, we'll get. We'll upgrade our dogs. Water break. Water. It's not water. It's water. Mandatory rowing exercises. They're mandatory. It is crucial to revisit the roots of crossing the seas. Before motors, there were oars, and before metal titans, there were rowboats. In the event their ship sinks, our navy needs to know how to make do with the basics. One row at a time. Masters of navigation. Beyond the surface of the waters is a realm of the unknown, lush with creatures and currents both wicked and calm. Our researchers and uh, specialists suggest we spend time studying our voyages so that we can plot the best routes, discreet or swift. Cool. Get them radios. Well, actually, they've got some bodies here. Blood of Wood's actually building up. But I don't know if they're enough to resist me. Uh. Let's take. Hello. Put them there. Yeah, yeah, Boofhead. That's one of my favorite parts about this. Is they. They really cover everything that you can find out in this game. Like, they cover Fallout Extreme. They cover... They did more world building than mod the Modifus RPG. Yeah, for sure. Which isn't bad, by the way. I've played that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they're actually... Um, if you hang out in their Discord, you can... They're looking for writers. Blaster checked. Oh, bud. I I want to. I really want to see what they do to Toronto. I want to see so bad. But my patience, it is strong, and I can only wait. Oh yeah, all this all this stuff is pretty much just like, except for maybe the Montana Brotherhood. It's like all up. up out of their their prerogative everything they found can get simple circuits hard armor can we get recon kits not yet oh that guerrilla tactics is just as good though hmm let's upgrade that The Winnipeg Arsenal. Let all who gaze upon our vessels know, from dingy beginning, dingy beginning, we have risen to masters of the lakes. 
The Republic is the first to reach such achievements, and we will have still have much to prove and claim. Oh god, look at all that naval warfare I can actually do. Making do. They are not going to cross the pond. Not for this. They are just doing the America, the Caribbean, and Mexico. If they do something like that, it would have to be its own mod. Because this is as this is as good as it gets. This is all we're getting. Which it still, admittedly, is a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But I would like to see, like, what China looks like in this world and what they're doing. I'd like to see what Japan's doing. I'd love to see Britain, for one. Like, any of mainland Europe. All that stuff would be cool to see. I would imagine that most of China is a glowing sea, yeah. Yeah, right? I'd love to see what the hell Europe's up to. Oh, the full Fallout London mod's actually supposed to come out soon? Right on. China and Japan are even more radiated wasteland than the U.S., most likely. There's a lot of U.S. to irradiate, which is the thing. Do I care? Not really. Okay, so now imagine that they have force fields and things like that, which they do in the Fallout universe. Imagine that, but over a tower shield hauled by PA. This is what I imagine Britain uses. Fingers crossed London is a better mod than Frontier. I imagine it's going to be. They didn't rush it out like I think they did with Frontier, and there's uh, admittedly quite a bit less controversy, I'd say. Oh, hell yeah, let's get the Pelican. On a scouting trip, one of our Navy units spotted an abandoned vessel drifting out. It's an impeccable shape. Inscribed on the side of the vessel reads the Pelican. Let's reel it back into shore for research. And then put her back out as a big fuck-off boat. And mentioned in the Anchorage mod for three memories... For three of memory serves. We launched way more in return and fire. Oh, yeah. Hey, Newt, you still here, brother? Yep. What's up? Lord Grimmels wants to yeet a concept at you. Oh, God, what? Floor is yours, Grimmels. Oh, God, the Montana Brotherhood. No. They're so big. No, Manitoba, you dirty filth. Manitoba, you slime. They took the woods first. It's like, Craig, it's a crapshoot. Anything can happen. Contacts. They probably did at some point. Uh. Pick flamethrowers. They have knights and mounties. Although their knights are special forces, which is weird.
Hmm. So they have Lodgy, big infantry units, AT, MGs, explosives. It's a lot of shit. There might not be much for it. We might have to take Kingdom of Manitoba. Three K manpower. Oh, we actually get free commanding officers. Dang. Get ready for tonks. Give the whole army AT. Sir. take a vault instead. Oh, uh, no, we're not researching MGs because... We can buy them. We can buy them. And we're not actually actively using them at the moment. What we will use is advanced ballistic weaponry, which we are buying for, like, 59k. So, like, we are... We are very steadily going to be able to be well within range to purchase that all of the power armor schematics. And then we will be the real power armor monster. And then we will step on Kingdom of Manitoba when we're ready. Or when they're ready. One of the two. Sweet. We could just get Vault Tech Power Armor. As a first time buyer's grace, these armors have given us the schematics to build Vault Tech Power Armor. They're comfy, they're tough, and they're stylish with the right paint coat. Let's get a free core and Grafton. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Maybe better if we had a cord. We have declared on Vault 37, and then we'll take the Duramatide, the two peoples, and we'll go to war with the the, uh, the Montana Brotherhood, if we're stupid, which we might be. Oh, wow. They're actually run by a paladin. Crazy. Yellowstone Park is huge. They literally ate... Oh, they ate the Enclave. Nitsipi is fighting both Middlemark. Is that... Are they fighting them? They're... Yeah, they are. They're fighting both, those fools. Safe Haven is still doing their Great Stampede fight thing. Great Stampede is starting to win against Battleford. Currently, there is no Enclave, I don't think. 
Uh, I don't know too, too much about them, I'm afraid. I don't think you can... Because, like, the, um, the MacArthur is the current on-map starting faction enclave. Now, when they get a little bit further out this way towards Chicago, then we get the Chicago enclave. Which, actually, the uh, MacArthur pays tribute to, because they're actually just a, um, the westernmost bastion of the enclave. They used to, Craig. They don't anymore. You used to be able to uh, go down a specific route with the uh, the Van Graffs, and they would get flipped by the Enclave. Detroit Enclave. Ooh-wee. That'd be brutal. It'd be kind of neat to see what, what the pit can do in this game and stuff like that. Give her an unpoos. We'll see. We got ten minutes. That'll be a solid three hours. Can we get at war with the vault first? I think maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the pit. It'd be all right. Also, um, I'm really excited for what they're going to do with uh, Florida. For Florida man time. Yeah. Thanks, Grimos. It's always nice having you guys here. Liberty Prime unit? Um. Shit. The. Uh. There's a faction that can make Liberty Primes. I think it's. I think it's House. It's either House or it's, um. The Mojave chapter. And they can just. It's probably make... House because it's his company. Yeah. Or it's Mojave chapter when they take House. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was the Mojave chapter because because uh, Fred was playing with them, I think. Who am I kidding? I want Vault Tech Power Armor. I want it. I want it. Yeah. I'm go kick the Vault's ass with Vaults. Ooh, portable radios. Flamethrowers. Oh, the Warden's alive. That's not good. He'll be he'll be loaded for bear. Get real buffers. Real happy boys. Please excuse Mr. Plane. I am next to an Air Force base. That's good. Power arm frames. <laughs> we should probably start with the basics. Uh we'll make there we go. That's something to get. Make ambulances. Ah, oh, the joys of living near the military. Yes. Free air shows. All the time. Suckers. You would think most of Florida would be underwater? We'll see. Gente, no. Laser or ballistic? We're going ballistics today. Actually, we can still choose, technically. Because we are at the crossroads of picking and choosing. But we have generic stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Nice. Let me get vault -Tec PA. Let's fucking go. And I believe, yes, we need to continue to march down. Arch free. And then that's that. I got the Grafton. Cut a deal with Prince Albert. Hmm. Let's do the Army of the Republic.
Wait, portable radios are a thing? What? Okay. Sure, we'll build some. Why the fuck not? Thanks for stopping by, Sir Skelly Man. You take care of yourself, brother. Um, no, we still have Tlalacan. We still have it. We have yet to hear the scream. All in good time, I suppose. No, not two peoples. How long until the vault is, is ready? Mm, like 17 days or so? Oh, free infantry weaponry stuff. And then we'll get bonuses for the special forces equipment. Which is all well and good. Because we have special forces and I don't really want to convert them to PA. Although that might be smart. We just don't have the PA yet to do so. <laughs> but let's get this war with the uh, Vault 37 done. Nuke, can you check the... Uh, the WBPL 76 room? See if any of yeah. anybody's coming on anytime soon. So uh, nobody's commented and I'll check the schedule. Alright, appreciate it, homie. Uh, looks pretty wide open. Cool. Cool. Mobile Lodgy, mobile maint. Let's get bikes. Let's get nice bikes. There's a justification. Oh, Vault 37. Oh, Vault 37. Oh, shit, we have like 300 units of PA. No, Send them out to out a scout. You know, that's a good idea. Boop. But we're also going to train some PA divisions. What are they looking like? Fucking horrible. Their armor looks doofy as shit, too, but that's alright. Are we actually making dynamite? Are we producing it? We are currently not producing the dynamite. So we need... to produce the dynamite. In flamethrower form. That can go up there. Now we have thousands of BC Quows, so we can cut down on that a little bit. Our AT rifles are vital, our Pioneer kits are needed. I don't know what the fuck we're doing about those portable radios. We don't need that much in control gear. Alright. Let's change my rioters to have none of that and have all of that save it and then that's going to be my garrison duty territory management rioters send in the riot please to deal with the riots it's only natural what's this Staff office plan. Exhausted for 20 days, eh? Well, that sounds terrible. What a terrible time to have a war for you. Yeah, yeet. It was him. Let's get him, fellas. Oh, now they went for the defensive. Oh, that's, that's bad for them. Oh, and we're just ripping up their robots. Fantastic. Oh, we're losing manpower like crazy, though. But their robots are getting fucked. Let's 
let's cut a deal with Albert and get a couple free divisions. What up, Wacker? I hear that, man. It's gonna be some good times in Florida. Sir. Go, go, Godzilla. Oh, that Mr. Handy's upset. No, oh, they're front line freaking out. <laughs> well, they don't like that. They don't like it up them, no sir. Uh. Get the cutoff, boys. Get it. I don't care how. I want it now. Purebred doggo. Start pumping out the power armor like crazy. Yeah, why not? We could use it. Sir. No. The cutoff, please. Mmm, yes. The delicious salience. Mmm. Crush them, yes. Hello. Sweet. Recon the support. Uh. Oh, they're special forces? Fuck yes. We laughing, boys. And we're pushing deep and deep into their country. You're no match for us. Hello. They are being crushed. Okay. Do we want lasers or guns? Find out what you can sell more of. Uh, I don't care about uh, We're not selling. It's not about selling. Nah. It's about keeping, and it's about using. Well, lasers, I guess. I feel it. I feel the lasers. They'll help with the. Uh, they'll help with piercing the power armor that we're gonna have to deal with soon enough, anyway. Oh man, Encirclement City. We're gonna give them that zip zap. Hell yeah. Surprise, it's encirclement. Hey. Hello. I don't like them very much. Let's kill them. Hello. I don't like them very much. Let's kill them. We got 282 rad roaches. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Now I'm not necessarily worried about power armor and stuff. We've kind of got pretty good divisions now. We're getting power armor. We've got crazy special forces divisions. We are... We've got riot control to put down the riots. I'm pinning some lads in honor of some good old Irish pride. Hell yeah, brother. All the freshness of Ireland. Painted. 
We have made a long republic of three rivers, and it's only going to get longer. Oh, yeah. And if I have, our, if we have our way, it's going to get wider. But that is a tale for another day. Indeed. So we're going to save her up right here. It's almost spelled save right. Can't have that. Doesn't oh, no. doesn't researching MGs unlock fire teams? It does. Um, actually, what we're gonna do is we're going to be researching that in a minute. And instead of doing fire teams, and instead of just doing uh, either or, we're gonna do some combined arms, which includes uh, MGs, AT, and uh, our flamethrowers. So we're going to have some fucking options. Oh, yeah. But we're going to... Um, I'm feeling giving flamethrowers to our PA and using them as, like, dirty breakthrough troops. And we'll give... Um, we'll, we'll also use our special forces because I want to keep them. I don't want to swap them out. Um, while we're thinking about it, let's do our, our doctrines here. Slap them out. There we go. Yeah. We will get the heavy flam in the huh? But, Manute, would you like to say goodbye? Uh, I mean, I guess. I've been Newt. I was uh, waiting for you to do it, and then I'd do it. Huh? Yeah, but I'm... I'm not conventional, man. I don't, I don't give oh a shit. God. I don't give a shit. We, All right, we, I've been new, and this loser is Stuka. I I have been Stuka, and I have been losing. Oh yeah. From from the sunny republic of the long rivers. Have a good day. Yeah. If I don't see you, take care of yourselves. Bye now. <laughs>